Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm the Obskin Angel BD, and for today what I have in here it is the real farm. It doesn't include the D, it's just the real farm. So this game was developed by the Triangle Studios, and I believe they are using their in-house engine, since I wasn't really able to, to uncover what engine they are using, so I believe they created their own engine, which seems rather interesting. So Rio Farm, it was offered by the publisher or the developers, they sent me out a key to try out the game, I didn't even ask for it, they just sent me out. And in this video I'm going to test two settings, first I decided to create a custom resolution of 960 per 540 and put every stuff on the minimum with the exception of the mod, which is set to 1.0. Okay, and the secondary uh, setting that I decided to try out, it was 720p, okay, and I just reduced the mod uh, to the minimum possible, okay. These are the two settings that I decided to, to try out, and both of them deliver um, very different results, you know, and uh, 720p with every stuff on the minimum, I got an average of 26, so the game it was pretty much spending its time between the 20s and the 30s, I don't really recommend it that much, to be honest, because it's lower than 30 frames per second. Although, if you go with uh, the 560p, I mean 440p, my custom resolution, and you adjust the WAD to 1.0, you still get uh, an experience above the 30 frames per second, which I believe it is very good. The only problem is the game scales very bad the resolution, and it seems that you can notice a lot the drop in the resolution because the image seems to be made of squares. So it's really unlucky. I raised it the lot because the with the lot on the minimum you can see a lot of pop-up and if you raise the lot to 1.0 you can see um, the things a little bit more on the distance and you notice the less pop-in. But either way, for me the best settings to go for it is really to create those custom resolutions. Uh, use 960 per 540 in case you don't know how to create a custom resolution in your laptop. There is a link on the description that should help you out, okay? But apart from that, it's fine. So, what can I tell you about the game? Real Farm, it seems to be... It seems that it wants to take on the farming simulator and uh, graphics-wise it is really nice. Uh, unfortunately, the laptop seems that uh, can't handle the game that well, unfortunately. But if you have a nice PC, the game graphics are actually very, very good. Now about the gameplay. I'm not really sure about the gameplay of this game because I just played like one hour and I was more concerned about benchmarking it than uh, trying out the game and its features. But if you take a look on its Steam page, you are going to notice that uh, uh, more than 30% of the people... Uh, I mean, the game score is lower than 30%, so people are really unsatisfied with this game. It seems that this game has a lot of bugs, a lot of issues with physics. I also noticed that I played, like I said, I played the game, like, for example, one hour, and I noticed that my car was stuck two times, and I got out of, I got out of the game and re-entered, and the car was still stuck there. So it was a little bit weird, and when it wasn't my car, it was the civilian cars that are driven by no one. It's just ghost cars with no one inside. There are no persons in this game, you can't see any single person, it's like you are in the ghost village. So it's a little bit weird. I understand that they are starting now, it's and it is their first game. But I think they have a lot of work to do, and I don't see them interested in doing any work. Because this is another of those issues. I understand that a game can be buggers or having a lot of physics problems, but developers and publishers need to understand that when they release a bugged game, they should fix it. And by the community, um, by the community comments on Steam, what I see is that mostly they are not interested in fixing issues. In fact, they are interested in releasing DLCs. Actually, all this video that you are seeing over here uh, is from a DLC map that you need to buy, separated to the game. I have access to this DLC because when they sent me out a copy of this game, the DLC was included, and I so I decided to try out this map first. Okay, but if you buy the game and you don't buy the DLC, you won't be able to play in this map. So this pretty much shows it up what are the priorities of these developers or these publishers. They are more interested in selling you content through DLCs than fixing the goddamn game. For me, that is incredibly a no-go to this game. Although, who knows? Uh, 
if you find this game, I don't know, on the next year, on a sale, on a very cheap price, uh, before buying this game, please go to its Steam page, check if they have been updating the game or not. If they have been updating, I guess you can risk it out and uh, buy the game. But uh, if you see that the game remains the same thing and the only thing they added was DLCs and they didn't release any update fixing everything, anything, just don't buy the game because I think this game is really buggy and I don't really think that they deserve the, the money, you know. The game costs 25 bucks right now at the time of the video. So probably if you are watching this video later, probably the game will be cheaper. But by the time the game costs 25 bucks, you probably can get it more cheaper on Kingwin. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link on the description for the Steam page and for the page of Kingwin of this game. So if you want to buy it through Steam, you can use the Steam link. And if you can, if you want to buy it through Kingwin, which, which should be more cheaper, you can use that link too if you want. Okay, but uh, this is my conclusion about the game. Like I said, I don't know too much how much content this game has or not because I didn't play that much. But I think just going by the, to the Steam page, it really sums it up about this game because almost everybody is really unsatisfied with this game. The only thing very good that I see in this game is really the graphics, the optimization. But like I said, this laptop isn't really showing you... Uh, what is this game capable of in graphics, but I played a little bit on my desktop Which is a little bit old by now and I can't I could max out the graphics very easily and the performance was great But again graphics means nothing if the gameplay is buggers if the gameplay is not there And even if nothing works and we get groundbreaking breaks, okay? So guys, that's all that I want to talk about real farm. Hope you did enjoy the video. Thank you a lot for watching and I do hope to see you soon. And before finishing up, I know that somebody will comment for Fair Cry 5. Guys, I'm trying to get the game, okay? Just don't stress it out. So, think about for watching and goodbye. Thank you.